Hi guys, it's Mark from Burton Bibles here, bringing you a new video. And this is perhaps a little series that I'm going to start today by looking at some of the most useful books that I have been able to use over the years to help with my Bible study and my, just in general, my appreciation of the scriptures and preparing for meetings and things like that. I don't use an awful lot of books, but there are certainly some books and some series that have been really helpful to me. So, in turn, I will try and pass this on to you guys and basically try and be a help to others and highlight some volumes. I am going to be uh, selling a couple of these books on the website as well because they've been such a help to me that I that some of them, a couple of them in particular, are quite hard to come by now. So um, I've managed to uh, get a supply and we'll put them on the website in due course. And this is one of them. This is the book that I use the most, probably. Um, it's just a fantastic uh, book. Now, in this day and age in which we live, uh, some of this material may, unbeknownst to me, be available as a download or as a ebook or as an e-sword add-on or something like that. A lot of people are doing things online now, so that may well be the case. But for me, I like to have my books next to me, either on my bookshelf in here in the office or my bookshelf in the in the house. And when I am doing a little uh, study or a little um, consideration of a, of a topic or a character or a place, whatever it might be, a subject in general, this is the book that I like to reach across and take down off the shelf. It's one of the books that I've used the most. It's been a great help to me and it's fantastic for just getting uh, a, like a broad overview and a, and a bit of a breakdown and some facts on a particular subject or topic. So it's the Concise Bible Dictionary and this particular um, edition was uh, given to be by my granddad and it's published in the States so all my uh, States viewers will be happy to see that published by Bible Truth Publishers in Illinois. Um, so uh, this may well still be available in the States from this publisher, I don't know. Um, but certainly it was originally published by George Morris uh, of London. Um, I think this uh, edition would probably date back to like the late 1800s or something like that originally. Um, and it's just a fantastic uh, book. Uh, it really is so, so useful. Um, I'll show you a bit of the layout. As you can see, it is an older, old school style layout that we've got going on here. And it takes you through the through the alphabet. And for example, on the first page, we've got here uh, Aaron. So it's going to basically tell you a bit about Aaron, all about Aaron. So if you wanted to get a, a simple character study going and you just wanted a broad brush overview, you know, not every scripture, not every event in Aaron's life is going to be mentioned here, but it is going to tell you the the broad brush strokes. It's going to tell you about how his life started, who he was, his family, what his main uh, role is in scripture, what his main um, perhaps flaws, weakness, some of his main life events, the challenges, the lessons that we learn from him. Um, and so it's really useful for, for doing that. Um, and it's a very exhaustive, um, to be honest, um, uh, uh, dictionary. We've got uh, articles on all your major characters that you'd expect to see under the letter A, for example. We've got Abel there. Um, we have got, I was going to look for um, Abraham. So we've got Abraham here. Um, a, quite a big, extensive article on Abraham, as you would expect. Uh, we've got um, Absalom as well. So there's a lot of uh, good content in here. We've got a few pictures as well. They tend to be this, you know, nice sort of ink drawing um, from the original. Um, and as you flick through, you'll get some books as well. So you've got Acts of the Apostles here. Um, and this here will give you a perfect introduction to the book and a bit of a broad overview of the book of the Acts. So you're not getting a complete Bible commentary or here or anything like that, but it's just going to give you perhaps, you know, five minutes of reading just to get the, hmm, a phrase that we use here in England, you know, get the gist, if you like, of the particular thing that you're looking into. 
So it will mention characters, it will mention certain words as well. So like, you know, for example, adoration here. Um, it is mainly characters and places uh, and events. But it's been an invaluable thing to have uh, on the shelf. For example, you know, if you wanted to know a little bit more about Agrippa, you could look into this book, reach for it on the shelf, and just find out a little bit more about it. It does bring in some of the historical um, documents as well. So, uh, you know, occasionally we'll mention Josephus and people like that who were contemporary with the writings of the scriptures as well. So that's also bringing in some arche archaeological um, knowledge as well. So it's really, really useful. Um, you'll have some objects here like the brazen altar, for example, Gives you a bit of a um, overview of that and the main passages associated uh, with it. So I find that uh, very useful. We've got the altar of incense there as well. And this is just in the letter A. So you can see it's a really useful book um, to have. I mean, yes, it's not a modern production. It's not full of glossy images and pictures. But for me, I love this sort of book because it's just packed full of of good reference uh, material so um yeah i'm just having a, a flick through just to give you guys a bit of an idea atonement so we've got an article on atonement there you know if you wanted to uh, do a study on atonement you could certainly start here just to get a get a, a broad overview of the subject and then you can spin off um, there's lots of scriptures referred to in these passages. You could spin off and, and have a look at those scriptures and follow it up and pad out your own study um, on that particular subject. Um, it, but it's just nice to have this book to, to reach across and pull down and just refer to. So you've got something on baptism here as well. You know, Christian doctrines and truths such as baptism. And I dare say there'll be articles on the, the Holy Spirit and there'll be articles on um fellowship as well in fact let's let's look let's do an exercise on that let's have a look at uh, fe fe there we go so fellowship um so there's a nice little article uh, on fellowship i know i used it um last year or maybe yeah i think it was a, there was a meeting that was doing and i wanted to mention a little bit more about the philistines so I wanted a little bit of background information and, and I looked across in here and there was just, you know, a few paragraphs on the Philistines, you know, where they came from, who they were. Um, also tells you um, a little something about them, uh, about their history and, and their conflicts with the children of Israel. So it's just nice to get that um, broad, broad overview. That's the key to this book, really. Um, nothing is too in-depth. You're not going to get lost in it. Obviously, you've got lots of articles on um, on Jesus, on Christ, and um, the Son of God, um, and things like that. So, again, it's just a really valuable source of uh, of information. And if you're reading in your daily readings, and there's something you come across that you're not too sure about, and there's a perhaps a subject or a name mentioned or a character that you'd just want to know a little bit more about. Um, then you can turn to this and you can get a really good uh, overview and an idea of the book or the character or the object or the event or the, whatever it is that you're looking at. In, in short, you'll get a really nice um, overview. Here's an article on the months. Um, so this is the, the Jewish calendar um, there. I wonder if that there's an article on the book of Job, um, Gilead, um, Mount Gilboa. Uh, I was wondering if there was something on the feasts. Um, let's have a look. Uh, yes, we've got an article on the feasts uh, there. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, lo lots of information in this. And um, uh, I'm going to be getting hold of a couple of copies, keeping them in stock to send out to people. And we'll put that on the website. Cause I just think it's a great volume. Um, really helpful to somebody who just wants that kind of handy dandy resource on their uh, bookshelf. And that is, if they're not, if you're looking for a book, then I can certainly recommend this volume. Really handy. So I hope you find that interesting and informative, and I'll catch up with you guys on another video soon. Cheers. Bye.
And just to give a little update at the end of this uh, video, um, here was the, uh, Bi the Bible Concise Dictionary that I was talking about that I'd had from the mid to late 90s or something. Uh, and this is the version that I can uh, get hold of at the moment, uh, a concise Bible dictionary. It's exactly the same, um, same content, same page numbers, slightly different. It's a bit thicker book paper here, so it is a little bit thicker. Um, than the version that I had. You could probably make that out from that. But nevertheless, still really nice production, um, a nice hardback um, um, hardback uh, book. And yeah, this, is, this will now be available via the Burton Bibles website. I don't think I'll be able to ship these to the States because basically I think you can get them in the States anyway and it will it will there's basically like next to no next to no profit in them really so uh, we won't be able to lose any money on shipping or anything like that but certainly in the uk if you want one of these i thoroughly recommend it and uh, hit the website up i'll put a link down below see you soon god bless bye